Hall was born on February 1st, 1844 on a farm in Asheville, Massachusetts and died on April 24th, 1924. He was educated on theology, philosophy, and psychology. He began a journey of his own at the age of 14 when he climbed the hill and had a day's worth of observing his life and dreams. It was then that he promised himself that he would leave the farm and become someone in the world. Someone in the what? Someone, someone in, in the, the world. world. Someone in the what? Someone, someone in, in the, the world. world. His escape in life was a strong love for literature and music. In 1867, he graduated at William College. He was chosen as class poet and elected to Phi Beta Kappa. And in 1871, at Union Theological Seminary, he received the Bachelor of Divinity. In 1878, at Harvard, he was granted his PhD in psychology with William James. Oh, ha, oh, ha. He was the first in America to earn a PhD in psychology. And his thesis, it was on muscular perception of space. In June 1888, he became president of what was the Clark University. Hall estimated that he had given a total of about 2,500 summer outside lectures, or about 80 a year. He was diligent in his dedication to students. He wrote far more than any other psychologist, and he was the founder of the first psychological journal of America, and the founder of the Pedagogical Seminars Journal of Religious Psychology and the Journal of Applied Psychology. He was the first president of America, Psychological Association. His primary interests were in evolutionary psychology and child development. He emphasized an important contribution he made towards psychology. And it was his advocacy and illustration and support of the doctrine that the mind, like the body, can be fully understood, but only when the development in the individual and its history in the animal kingdom are understood. Each person goes through changes in the both the psychic and semantic senses. And that follows the evolution scale of the mind and body. He played a huge role in teaching psychology, in being genetic, and in convincing others to study all of human life. Ha! Huh. He was fundamentally a literary man, rather than a man of science, and artistic, rather than a matter of fact. In his time, he was known to be the philosopher of psychologists. He not only had the passion to be appealing, but he also had the passion to convince. He has shared much of his knowledge and ideas to the world, and his 439 published works arrest to that. Oh, Granville Stanley Hall is the man.